Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. A special hello to any first time visitors to my channel. I hope this is the first of many visits to come. If you would actually take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video, I would really appreciate it. The topic of today's video is actually a little different than the topic I've been covering up until this point of handbags and SLGs, but it's a topic I love just as much, makeup. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow. It is a product that I have loved and used almost exclusively ever since I purchased it. So I just wanted to make this quick video and share this product with you and show you why I love it so much. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow Pot. It's got her logo at the top there and her name as you saw right here. And the color that I have that I have been relying on almost exclusively ever since I purchased it is called Marie Antoinette. And their website describes it as an oyster gold color. You open this up and this is the pot. As you can tell, I, I, I wasn't lying that I've been using it. It is just a really, really lovely neutral color. It's very versatile. I feel like it plays off gold really well. It plays off silver really well, rose gold. Charlotte Tilbury has a total of eight different colors in the Eyes to Mesmerize collection, and they do retail for $32. In my opinion, a very, very competitive, excellent price for the amount of product you get, especially considering a little goes a long way. I don't foresee this running out on me, even with consistent use in the next year, because I think the line, if you see where it is where it ends in there that's as high as it was when i purchased it and then just you know it had a little you know curly cue almost like a um, frozen yogurt kind of point to it and i've used it so so much and there, look there's still so much in it you can tell from you know the outside there's a lot here actually what i will do good luck for me trying to get into this without scraping a ton of it under my nail i'm going to swatch it for you really quick under on my arm right here, or my hand rather. So just to give you an idea, there it is. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. I mean, I can't recommend it enough. I use it all the time when I wanna put makeup on because it's such a quick and easy option. In fact, it is the shadow that I think I've used exclusively throughout all my YouTube videos up until this point, including this one. It is on my lids right now. If you see, it is just, it's beautiful. In person, it just it just gives your eyes such a beautiful pop. And like I said, this is all I have on my lid. And as you can see, it plays with the light really well. Look how like bright it is there. And then as you go around the crease, it gets darker. And then I extended it out a little. And as you extend it out, you know, it gets a little darker. The times that I have worn it, I've had people actually ask me, what do you have on your lids? And I'll tell them Charlotte Tilbury, Marie Antoinette, and be like, okay, well, what do you have on the outside? I'm like, Charlotte Tilbury, Marie Antoinette. You mean those are the same color? Yes, it's the same color. It makes you look like you took so much time to do your eye makeup when it quite literally takes me 60 seconds total to do both eyes. It, you just swipe it on and in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll probably take it, my makeup off on my lids and just apply it for you on camera just so you can see how easy it is. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna wipe off the color on my lid right now and I'll come back and show you just how quickly you can get this look. All right, everyone, I'm back. As you can see, I took off the eye makeup as best I could without taking everything else off. So it's all gone. And here is the pot and I'm going to apply it for you real quick on camera and show you. I'm using my Sigma brush. It's the Medium Sweeper E54. That's how much product I have on there. Not too much at all. And just apply it like so. It's so easy. It spreads so nicely. And you know, you don't really need to be so precise with it. It just plays with the light so well. There we go. Might have done a little too much there than I'd like. 
one eye is done. That was it. Done. Done. That's how long it takes me to do my eyeshadow for the videos, you guys. Again, just don't want to put too much. Just like that. It's not focusing. Not too much at all. Probably not focusing because there isn't so much on there. Um, yeah. Do my other eye. And I'm not going to fast forward primarily because I don't know how yet. <laughs> don't laugh at me. But also I just want to show you how quick and easy it is in real time versus a speed through. Boom. Done. My eyes are done. If you have a department store near you, I don't know about every location, but by me, Nordstrom carries them. I would highly recommend you visiting the Charlotte Tilbury counter and looking at all the colors that they have. They have a number of colors, like I said, eight of them, and it's only $32. In the description box down below, I'll be sure to include a link that will take you directly to the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize page on her website so that you can see the colors that are available in this particular cream eyeshadow. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.